Ever stub your toe and watch it turn a fascinating shade of purple? That's a blood clot doing its job, protecting you from bleeding out. But sometimes, these clots show up when they're not welcome, like inside your blood vessels. That can be a serious problem. In fact, it has been estimated that up to 900,000 people in the United States alone get blood clots every year, and around 100,000 of those cases end tragically, often leading to heart attacks, strokes, and pulmonary embolisms. While attending to and treating blood clots with medical supervision is undoubtedly crucial, there are some natural solutions that can effectively prevent abnormal blood clots from happening in the first place and may even dissolve the existing ones to some extent. That's what we're going to learn in this video. First, let's learn why and how blood clots form. Our bodies have an incredible ability to form clots to stop bleeding after an injury occurs. This intricate process involves platelets, which are small blood cell fragments clumping together to essentially seal off and protect the damaged area from further blood loss. Thankfully, our bodies have a built-in mechanism called the fibrinolytic system, which involves specialized enzymes to gradually break down the structure of clots as the healing process takes place. However, there are times when these formed clots fail to properly dissolve, leading to potential health complications. Now, let's take a closer look at some natural methods to help prevent or dissolve existing blood clots to some extent, and see what research says about them. Number 1. Bromelain. This enzyme is naturally found in pineapples, especially the core, and has been getting some attention to its potential effects on blood clots. Studies show that bromelain has what we call fibrinolytic activity. That means it can help break down fibrin, a key player in blood clot formation. In fact, in a lab study, researchers found that bromelain delayed blood clotting time by up to 47%, one lab study even showed that bromelain treatment in a lab setting reduced blood clot size by 30%. Another study looked at the effects of bromelain on human blood samples in a lab setting. Experts found that bromelain could indeed decrease the clotting ability of the blood. But it's important to note that these studies weren't done in people with actual blood clots, and more research is needed to see how effective bromelain might be in humans. And most importantly, bromelain can interact with some medications especially blood thinners, like warfarin. So, if you're on any meds, talk to your doctor before trying bromelain supplements. Number 2. Vitamin E Some studies suggest vitamin E might have mild anti-clotting properties. One large-scale study even showed a 21% reduction in the risk of blood clots in women who took vitamin E supplements. This is most likely because, according to studies, vitamin E interacts with vitamin K, a crucial player in blood clotting. Vitamin K helps the body produce proteins needed for proper clot formation. However, vitamin E seems to compete with vitamin K for absorption, potentially reducing its availability. But remember that because of the competition with vitamin K, taking too much vitamin E supplements can actually increase your risk of bleeding. Taking vitamin E from dietary sources like fatty fish, avocados, almonds, eggs, and others is perfectly safe for most healthy individuals. But if you're considering vitamin E supplements for blood clots, be sure to ask your doctor about the correct dosage and personalized recommendations according to your needs and health condition. Number 3. Omega-3 Fatty Acids Studies show that omega-3s can slightly thin the blood by reducing platelet aggregation, making them a little less sticky and less likely to form unwanted clots. Research suggests that consuming omega-3s can lead to a reduction in these platelet interactions by as much as 11%. Chronic inflammation is a risk factor for various health problems, including blood clots. Omega-3s boast anti-inflammatory properties, potentially helping to reduce this risk. By calming down inflammation in the body, omega-3s might create a less hospitable environment for clot formation. In fact, an observational study showed that people who consume more omega-3s, especially from fatty fish, tend to have a lower risk of blood clots. Interestingly, the study found a 20% reduction in blood clot risk in those with higher omega-3 intake compared to those with lower intake. Fatty fish like salmon, tuna, sardines, and mackerel are loaded with omega-3s. Aiming for at least two servings of these tasty fish per week is a great way to boost your intake. 
Number 4. Curcumin You might know turmeric for its vibrant color and culinary uses, but its active ingredient, curcumin, has some interesting properties that might be relevant to blood clot prevention. One way it might work is through its anti-inflammatory effects. Just like omega-3s, curcumin's anti-inflammatory properties could potentially reduce chronic inflammation, a known risk factor for blood clots. Studies show that curcumin might also influence platelet activity, those sticky cells involved in clot formation. In fact, one study found that curcumin treatment in cells reduced blood clot formation by up to 65%. But it's important to note that this was a lab study, and human studies are needed to confirm these effects. Also, remember that curcumin can interact with some medications, particularly blood thinners. Always talk to your doctor before taking curcumin supplements, especially if you have any underlying health conditions or are on medication. Number 5. CoQ10 Coenzyme Q10 is naturally present in your body and plays a crucial role in cellular energy production. Research suggests it might also have some blood thinning properties. Studies show that CoQ10 has antioxidant properties that could help protect blood vessel walls from damage. Healthy blood vessel walls are less prone to inflammation, which can be a trigger for clot formation. Some research suggests CoQ10 may slightly reduce platelet aggregation potentially contributing to smoother blood flow. But remember that similar to other supplements on our list, CoQ10 too can interact with blood thinning medications like warfarin. So it's crucial to talk to your doctor before taking CoQ10 or other supplements if you're already on blood thinners. Number six, maintain a healthy body weight. Excess weight puts a strain on your entire circulatory system, including your veins. This strain can increase your risk of blood clots forming in these deep veins, especially in your legs. In fact, a large-scale study found that people who were obese were more than twice as likely to develop blood clots compared to those with a healthy weight. The good news is that losing weight can significantly reduce your risk of blood clots. One study showed that people who lost just 10% of their body weight saw a 30% decrease in their risk of developing blood clots. That's a pretty impressive improvement for a relatively achievable weight loss goal. Number 7. Exercise regularly. Exercise gets your blood pumping and keeps it moving throughout your body. Studies have shown that regular physical activity can significantly reduce your risk of blood clots. One study found that people who engaged in moderate intensity exercise for just 30 minutes most days of the week had a 30% lower risk of blood clots compared to those who were inactive. Exercise not only helps prevent blood clots, but it can also be beneficial if you've already had a clot. Aim for at least 30 minutes of moderate intensity exercise most days of the week. Brisk walking, swimming, cycling, and dancing are all great options. Even incorporating short bursts of activity throughout the day, like taking the stairs or getting up and moving around every hour, can make a difference. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel to support our mission to help improve your health. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.